Now, you know your major scales now, and you know your major scales with a dominant feel with that lowered seventh, or another way of calling it is a mixolydian scale. We've got both of those locked in. Let's go ahead now and learn a minor scale pattern. Um, minor scales have a simple pattern as well. They're a little different than the major pattern though, and so uh, it's important that you know how to play a minor scale on the bass. For the purposes of this video, let's start with a root of C. And we're going to, just like with the major scales, we're going to anchor our index finger on the root. So again, uh, it's good to have a good strong anchor on root. And, and just for what it's worth, the fifth degree of the scale is the same in major and minor scales as is the fourth degree of the scale. So you can always know in a minor scale, the fourth degree is up one string, the fifth degree is the same relationship as it is in the major scales. Here's the rest of the degrees. Root, second. Now, for the third degree, you shift your hand up one fret. Third, fourth, and fifth, we already showed you. Sixth, seventh, eighth. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and yes, it is that, that dominant seventh feel. Happens naturally in a minor scale. Coming back down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now that pattern, like always, is the same in all minor scales. Let's go to A minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That minor scale pattern is the same no matter where you go on the neck of this bass. You find your root, that's your first degree of your scale, and you can play it absolutely anywhere. Um, just as another example, A minor, we go to A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So lock in your minor scale patterns and practice them all over the neck of your bass. Know what your root is and you'll be ready to move on.